So you want to know what the ultimate family guard dog breed is? Well, today's quarterfinal contest is the Rottweiler and the Doberman looking to eliminate each other and move on to the semi-final. So without further ado, let's get straight into round one of our five-round fight. Whoever wins the most rounds progresses. Round number one, temperament with children. Providing a Doberman has been well socialised and correctly trained, they're a good choice as a family pet and they fit in well in a home environment. With this said, these dogs get very protective of any children they grow up with and instinctively feel the need to guard them. Anyone who already shares a home with a Doberman with younger children in the house should always make sure they are never left together unattended. It is also crucial for parents to teach young children how to behave around dogs and when to stay away from them, particularly when there is food around or during certain playtimes. Rotties need to be treated with a great amount of respect, but when they bond with a family, the bond remains very strong throughout their lives. In short, a Rottweiler becomes totally devoted to their owners and families. If they are given the right amount of daily exercise and enough mental stimulation, they are good pets, but care has to be taken when they are around children, especially toddlers who may not yet have been taught how to behave around such large dogs. Anyone who already shares a home with a Rottie and younger children should always make sure they are never left together unattended. It is also crucial for parents to teach young children how to behave around dogs and when to stay away from them, particularly when there is food around or during playtime. Both dogs can make excellent family companions and have excellent temperaments around children when trained and socialised well. However, we do need a winner and in my humble opinion, choosing between the two, I lean towards the temperament of the Doberman for the win in this round. Round number two, the intimidation factor. Dobermans are proud, impressive looking dogs and there is no mistaking them for any other breed. They are well balanced with an athletic appearance that shows they have a lot of power and strength. Their heads are well proportioned in relation to their body with a long, clean cut muzzle and a slight stop. The colour of their nose matches their coats with solid black Dobermans boasting black noses. Dark brown dogs have in brown ones, while blue dogs have solid grey noses, and fawn dogs have light brown ones. Their eyes are almond shaped and set moderately deep, with dogs boasting an alert, lively expression. The colour of their eyes matches a dog's coat colour. Ears are neat and small, being set high on a dog's head, which Dobermans either carry upright or dropped. Their jaw is strong and well developed, with a perfect scissor bite where the upper teeth neatly overlap their lower ones. Their necks are quite long and lean, which adds to the Doberman's noble appearance and which dogs hold slightly arched with the nape being extremely muscular. Rottweilers are large and impressive dogs being well proportioned, powerful and extremely well muscled. They have broad heads with moderately arched foreheads and nicely muscled cheeks. Dogs have slight wrinkling on their heads when they are alert, otherwise the skin is tight. Their muzzles are deep with a well defined stop and noses are always black with nice wide large nostrils. A completely subjective round here and both dogs are undeniably intimidating in their own rights and I'd love to hear which one you find more intimidating down in the comment section below. And to help me judge this I pulled up two images of both dogs snarling side by side and I'm not sure why but I automatically found the Doberman the breed I'd rather avoid if I had to choose between the two and the Doberman moves up two rounds to nil. Round number three the dog's trainability. Dobermans are highly intelligent and excel at all sorts of canine activities which include competitive obedience, protection training and much more. As such they are easy to train because they have a strong desire to please the people they respect and love. However they need to be handled gently by someone who is familiar with this type of highly intelligent breed. Their training and socialisation must start from a young age, bearing in mind that Dobermans can be a bit fiery at times, especially when they are excited. This is one of the reasons why they are not a good choice for first time owners who have little to no experience in training this type of dog. Bearing in mind the breed is renowned for being strong-willed and determined by nature. The Rottweiler is one of the most intelligent dogs on the planet and therefore they learn new things extremely quickly. The downside to this is that a Rottie would just as quickly pick up some bad habits as they do with the good. They need to be handled with a firm yet sympathetic approach that is always consistent right from the word go and throughout their lives which is one of the reasons they are better suited to people who are familiar with their types of needs. Rottweilers need to be well socialised when they are puppies and it cannot be stressed strongly enough that their training must start as early as possible too. Failure to socialise a puppy or train a young dog correctly is a recipe for disaster for both a Rottweiler and their owners. They are extremely intelligent but they also boast a very dominant side to their characters. As such they need to be taught their place in the pack and who the alpha dog in the household is for them to be truly well rounded dogs. They are amongst the breeds that are super sensitive to a person's voice and as such respond well and extremely quickly when they are given a command. With this in mind, it is worth noting that great care has to be taken when training a Rottweiler to avoid getting them too excited which could result in a dog becoming unruly and unmanageable. Probably the hardest round to judge here as both dogs are top 10 smartest in the world but the Doberman does regularly rank in the top 5 ahead of the Rotti who can also show a more dominant side which can make training harder allowing the Doberman to go up 3-0. Round number four, health and life expectancy. 
The average life expectancy of a Doberman is between 9 to 12 years. Like so many other breeds, a Doberman is known to suffer from a few hereditary health issues which are worth knowing about if you're planning to share your home with one of these active and good-looking dogs. The conditions that seem to affect the breed most include the following. Doberman cardiatroponin, von Willebrand's disease, hip dysplasia, dilated cardiomyopathy, hereditary deafness, eye issues, bloat, hyperthyroidism, canine wobbler syndrome and arthritis. The average life expectancy of a Rottweiler is between 8 and 10 years when properly cared for and fed an appropriate, good quality diet to suit their age. The Rottweiler is known to suffer from a few hereditary health issues, with the conditions that seem to affect the most being cancer, eye problems, cruciate ligament rupture, wet eczema, cold water tail, hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat, obesity, aortic stenosis and temperament issues. The Doberman also takes his round with a longer average life expectancy and fewer common health issues. The fifth and final round, Actual protection ability. Dobermans are inherent watchdogs, which is a trait that's deeply embedded in dog psyche, having been bred for decades to protect and guard. They are also one of the most commonly used dog breeds in the world for police and military uses. The Rottweiler is a natural watchdog because guarding and protecting is a trait that is deeply embedded into their history and psyche. As such, they are among the best watchdogs around and don't need to be taught to guard anything when it comes to protecting their family, homes and loved ones. Another excruciating round to judge here and one that I'm going to have to go with my gut on. And if I had to choose one to protect my young family, I would lean towards a Rottweiler. However, I would be more than happy with the Doberman. So the Doberman wins this contest four rounds to one, but I want to make it clear that this contest was far, far closer than the score made it seem. And I'd be happy to accept you choosing either breed for the majority of those rounds as it was so close. However, the Doberman does advance to the semi-finals of our tournament where it will take on the Connie Corso. Don't forget to leave your score predictions for that next contest down in the comment section below and we'll see if any of you guys can get it right. Click the top left video for another first round contest between the Bull Mastiff and the Akita and click the bottom left video for another one of our videos that I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next contest in our tournament to determine the ultimate family guard dog.